welcome to edupedia world in this module we will discuss about the construction of weighted index numbers weighted index numbers we have noted that the index numbers discussed so far gives equal importance to each item however while constructing weighted index numbers rational weights are assigned to all items or commodities in an explicit manner such weights indicate the relative importance of items or commodities included in the calculation of an index weights are assigned to various items to reflect their relative importance in the series what is rational weight it is an impossible to give a comprehensive definition of the term rational weights weights which are perfectly rational for one investigation may be entirely unsuitable for another in fact the decision about the national weights depends on the purpose of the index number and the nature of the concerned data weighted index numbers are constructed by the following method first is weighted aggregative method and second is weighted average of price relative method we will discuss both the method in detail first we will start with weighted aggregative method in this method weights are assigned to various items weighted aggregate of the prices are calculated instead of simple aggregates under this method weights are assigned to various items and instead of finding the simple aggregate of prices the weighted aggregate of the prices are obtained there are various techniques of assigning weights to items designed by some famous economist weights are assigned on the basis of quantities of the base year or on the basis of quantities of the current year or on the basis of quantities of the current year and base year which technique should be used to assign weights depend on the purpose of constructing index numbers some of the important methods of constructing weighted aggregative indices are laspers method passage method fisher's idol method dorbish and bowley's method marshall edgeworth method walsh method and kelly's method however considering the scope of the syllabus of class 11th we will discuss the first three methods of constructing weighted aggregated index numbers they are laspers method passage method and fisher's idol method first we will discuss laspers method this method was introduced by mr laspers in 1871 In this method weights are represented by the quantities of the commodities in the base year which is written as q0 This method helps in answering the question that if the expenditure in the base year on a basket of commodities was rupees 100 then how much should be the expenditure in the current period on the same basket of commodities Laspers formula to construct index number is given P zero one is equals to sigma P one Q zero divided by sigma P zero Q zero multiplied by hundred. Here P one is equals to price of the current year. P zero is equals to price of the base year. Q zero is equals to quantities of the base year. Sigma P one Q zero is equals to sum total of the product of price of the current year P one. and quantities of the base year q0 sigma p0 q0 is equals to sum total of the product of price of the base year that is p0 and quantities of the base year that is q0 now in the coming slide we will understand this method with the help of a illustration next we come to passage method this method was introduced by mr passage in 1874 In this method weights are represented by the quantities of the commodities in the current year Q1 
it helps in answering the question that if the current period basket of commodities was consumed in the base year and if we were spending rupees 100 on it how much should be the expenditure in current period on the same basket of commodities okay symbolically it is written P01 equals to sigma P1 Q1 divided by sigma P0 Q1 multiplied by 100. Here P1 is equals to price of the current year. P0 is equals to price of the base year. Q1 equals to quantities of the current year. Sigma P1 Q1 equals to sum total of the product of price of the current year P1 and quantities of the current year Q1. And sigma P0 Q1 is equals to sum total of the product of price of the base year P0 and quantities of the current year Q1. We will understand this method with the help of an illustration in the coming slides. And now we come to the last method that is Fisher's method. This method was introduced by Professor Irwin Fisher. This method combines the technique of Lespire's method and Passage's method. In other words, in Fisher's method, weights are represented by the quantities of both the year Q0 and the current year Q1. Fisher's formula is considered as an ideal method. Why is it considered as ideal method? The formula is based on geometric mean which is considered to be the best average for constructing index numbers. And it considers both base year and current year quantities as weights. So it avoids the bias associated with the Lespire's and Passage indexes. And it satisfies time reversal test and factor reversal test. Symbolically it is written P01 equals to under root sigma P1 Q0 divided by sigma P0 Q0 into sigma p1 q1 divided by sigma p0 q1 multiplied by 100. From this formula it is clear that Fisher's ideal index is a geometric mean of the Lespire's and Passage indices. This method we will also understand with the help of an illustration in the coming slide. Now we will understand the three methods with the help of a following illustration. From the following data, calculate price index numbers for the year 2008, taking 1997 as base year. Use Lespire's method, Passage method and Fisher's method. So table is given to us, that is commodities are given A, B, C, D and price and quantity of 1997 and price and quantity of 2008 are given to us. So let's start with the solution. First, we'll make the table of four columns. In the first column, we'll write P1, Q0. P1 is the price of the current year and Q0 is quantity of the base year. So, we'll multiply it. 40 multiplied by 4 come 160. 60 multiplied by 3 comes 180. 50 multiplied by 5 comes 250. And 40 multiplied by 10 comes 400. We will add up the values. We will get sigma P1 Q0 equals to 990. Now in the second column we will write P0 Q0. P is price of the base year. Q0 is quantity of the base year. Base year is 1997. So 20 into 4 comes 80. 15 into 3 comes 150. 40 into 5 comes 200. And 20 into 10 comes 200. We will add up the values, we will get sigma P0 Q0 equals to 630. Now we come to the third column, that is P1 Q1. P1, price of the current year, Q1, quantity of the current year, means price and quantity of 2008. So 40 into 6 comes 240, 60 into 5 comes 300, 15 to 10 comes 500 and 40 into 20 comes 800. We will add up the values, we will get sigma P1 Q1 equals to 1840. Now come to the last column, that is P0 Q1. P0, price of the base year and Q1, quantity of the current year. So 20 into 6 comes 120, 
15 into 5 comes 250, 40 into 10 comes 400 and 20 into 20 comes 400. We will add up the values, we will get sigma P0 Q1 equals to 1170. Okay, now we come to the first method that is Lespire's method. We will write down the formula that is P01 equals to sigma P1 Q0 divided by sigma P0 Q0 multiplied by 100. So 990 divided by 630 into 100 comes 157.14. Now we come to passage method. Formula is P01 equals to sigma P1 Q1 divided by sigma P0 Q1 multiplied by 100. So we will write 1840 divided by 1170 into 100. We will get 157.26. Now we come to the last method that is Fisher's method. Formula is P01 equals to under root sigma p1 q0 divided by sigma p0 q0 into sigma p1 q1 divided by sigma p0 q1 into 100. We will put up the values, we will calculate it, we will get 157.19 as a answer. So this is how we will calculate the value with the help of the three method that is Lespire's method, Passage method and Fisher's method. And you can see that in every method, the answer came 157 with a slight differences. So this is how we will use the three method to calculate price index numbers. Weighted average of price relatives method. This is another method to construct weighted index numbers. In this method, the price relatives of the current year are calculated. Price relatives are calculated on the basis of base year prices. Since it is weighted method, we need to calculate weights if not given and find the product of weights and price relatives and then the average is calculated. Let us understand this with the help of following steps. First, we need to calculate price relatives for the current year that is R e or PR equals to P1 divided by P0 into 100. We need to calculate weights. If not given in the question, weights are calculated by finding the product of price of the base year and quantity of the base year. W equals to P0 Q0. We find the product of weights and price relatives that is R multiplied by W we will get RW. We find sum total of weights that is sigma W. Then we use the following formula to find weighted average of price relatives. P01 equals to sigma RW divided by sigma W. One thing should be noted that if price or quantity of the base year is not given, we can use current year's price or quantity also. We will discuss this method with the help of illustration in the coming slide. We have to calculate the index numbers by weighted average of price relative method. Data is given to us commodities A, B, C, D, E and F. Quantity in 2000, price in 2000 and 2010 is given to us. Let's start with the solution. We have to make a table of 7 columns. In the first column, we will write commodities that is A, B, C, D, E and F. In the second column, we will write Quantities that is Q0 of the year 2000, that is 80, 70, 60, 50, 40 and 30. In the third column, we will write prices of 2000, that is P0, prices of base year, that is 4, 8, 12, 4, 2 and 3. In the fourth column, we will write P1, that is prices of current year, 2010, 8, 14, 18, 5, 5. 6. Now in the fifth column we will write weights. W equals to P0 Q0. So we will multiply P0 and Q0 of the various commodities. 80 into 4 comes 320, 17 to 8 comes 560, 16 to 12 720, 15 to 4 200, 
40 into 2 comes 80 and 30 multiplied by 3 comes 90. We will add up the values, we will get sigma w equals to 1970. Now come to sixth column, that is price relative. R equals to P1 divided by P0 into 100. So 8 divided by 4 into 100 comes 200. 14 divided by 8 into 100 comes 175. 18 divided by 12 into 100 comes 150. 5 divided by 4 into 100 comes 125. 5 divided by 2 into 100 comes 250. And 6 divided by 3 into 100 comes 200. Now, in the last column, we will write R, W. So, we will write the product of R and W. So, 200 into 320 comes 64,000. 175 into 560 comes 98,000. 150 into 720 comes 108,000. 125 multiplied by 200 comes 25,000. 250 multiplied by 80 comes 20,000 and 200 multiplied by 90 comes 18,000. We will add up the values, we will get sigma rw equals to 3,33,000. Now we will write the formula that is p01 equals to sigma rw divided by sigma w. We will write the values that is 3,33,000 divided by 1970. We will get 169.03 as the index number by weighted average of price relative method. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.